welcome to another camping trip, I suppose. So, the family decided to come out with me this time, which is kind of awesome. So, just figured I would show you where we're at. We just headed up Stevens Pass area, Highway 2. Figure we'll play around. Zyra has this lake in mind that she really, 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 really wants to take her mom to. Don't know if we can actually get up there. It's a pretty gnarly road. Actually, we were on that road in my video from hunting season last year. So, yeah, it's a little weird. Just a random thing. If you've ever wondered why I'm always looking off to the side like that, the camera is over there, the front of my phone, like the top, right? And so I would have to look at the camera to make it look like I was looking at you. I keep looking at my own face. It's weird. Anyway, uh, show you around a little bit our campsite. You can see the girls back there behind me. Let's go say hi to them, yeah? Hi, Shiloh Lee. Not a bad little campsite for a few days. Shadow's over there finishing our bed set up. I have no idea where Zyra's at, but she's setting up her tent somewhere. You see that blue bag swinging around in her hand? That is her hammock. It's kind of cool. It fits in that little bag, slides into my toolbox, but she'll set it up, and that's probably where Shiloh will be for this trip. At least for a while. It's kind of cool, though. We just uh, This site is one I've used a couple of times, but very, very rarely. It's really close to the highway, but you would never know it by where we're standing. Um, it's just kind of a really pretty green area. It's the only campsite I know of on this road, and it's a road you usually don't notice. And so not many folks actually come back up in here. So we came up, hopped in, thought we would have all sorts of crazy mosquito issues, but ironically, it is damn near bug-free and kind of awesome. So yeah, there's our camp. Big extension cords running because we are foo-foo campers and we're running air mattresses out into our tents. Mmm, that's kind of a nice hammock spot right down there by the stream. That'll be kind of cool, huh? I mean, Zyra is on the other side of this tree if I don't fall off of the tree I'm walking on. Looks like that's going to be her little camp down there. Nice, nice. Say hello to the camera, Zyra. Hi. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd thought of setting up down there. It's a good little spot. I know, I could be a nice dad and be down there helping her, but she actually doesn't need my help. She's been doing this a very long time and knows these tents very well. Not bad. Three minutes and 40 seconds. So, ladies, you don't have to work for a weekend for a change. How's that? Good. You get to come camping. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the camera shy girls. <laughs> one's looking away, the other one's getting embarrassed.
we have firewood. And Boy Scout fuel. And bills, because it's always fun to burn your debt. No mistake, huh? Here's a big one. Come on, I can't film you while you're, like, playing with pumpkin. See, this is what we do when we go camping. We, we play on our cell phones and look at the cat. Just like we do at home. <laughs> Not normally true. It's a random thing when you actually have reception. Yeah, you saw my data. Let's see if we can see pumpkin. Why did it glitch like that? Oh, that's weird. Got anything to say? How are you? She can't answer you. What is good? <laughs> <laughs> Monologuing is a challenging thing, huh? Yep. You're stilted in your voice, even. Well, it takes a friend. So anyway, we're just saying hello. Sitting around the fire, enjoying camp as I trip and fall and jerk the camera around. Here you go, we'll sit you down and then you can like sit at the fire with us. Just saying goodnight. It's getting up on well after dark. I've um, been sitting around the campfire, kind of hanging out for a while. Girls are off wandering into the forest to go to the bathroom. Imagine everybody will be going to bed soon. Plan is for tomorrow, I think we're going to try to find an old access point to get up to a place called Eagle Lake. Um, I don't know what secret route into there, so we'll see how that looks. Maybe I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Maybe I'll just dump that story in when I edit this video for you. So anyway, good night. All right, well, good morning. So, not a cold morning like they always are here in western Washington. Uh, just kind of the nature of the way the beast goes, I suppose. Anyway, it's about 6.30. Girls are still snoring. Quite literally, I can hear them both from across camp. So, I figured it was time I'd make some coffee, get up, and maybe go see if I can catch a trout. So let's go do that, yeah?
Well, isn't this how morning should start? Sitting on the side of a river, trying to catch some trout. Not really anything biting. I've seen a couple of little guys swimming around out in there. I know there's big fish in this river. It's just, yeah, actually trying to catch them is an entirely different story sometimes. But anyway, the river behind me is actually one channel of the Skycomish right here. It splits into two channels. We're not too far from the freeway, which you can probably see back there over my shoulder. Um, camp is just through the woods, kind of straight in front of me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, sat here fishing a little bit. Thought I'd grab some film. I wonder if this grass has like babies with her too. I think so. It almost looks like there's a little chick right next to her. Yeah, I can't tell if it's a pine cone or a chick. It was hard to see. <laughs> I don't see it's like the days, I suppose. It's just like where water comes down and across from the mouth. Don't know if you can see the black bear standing right there. Just kind of posing for us. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. 
showing you a pretty little spot that we stopped for a bit. It is so hot out here. I'm still driving. <laughs> it's like I can watch yeah. either to see where I'm going. Pretty little mountain lake. This is Lake Elizabeth we're visiting. It's a little sunny. Let's see if I can block the sun. There's my girl standing in the shade. It's been hot today. It was supposed to get up to 90. We have no idea how hot it really got, but it was not pleasant. So Lake Elizabeth's a pretty little place. You can actually drive right to this lake, but unfortunately about five years ago, the road washed out. Nobody's been able to get up here except by hiking in several miles. So first year the road's open and in relatively good condition. A little rough, but not too bad. If you watch, you'll see some little trout jumping out there. Anyway. Pretty little subalpine lake. Lots of blueberries too. Lots of blueberries. Look at all them berries. This whole hill is just blueberries. Hello. So yeah, it's been warm today, as we said in our earlier bit. We tried to go up to Eagle Lake like we were talking about doing. Unfortunately, the road was in really, really bad shape last year when I was up towards that area. Um, it was pretty much four-wheel drive, lockers. It was a nasty road. Um, looks like they're doing work on it this year. They had uh, construction notice signs down at the beginning, and it had no entry written on it, so we didn't go up there. Instead, we spent the day up in the place of the mountain huckleberries. Um, you might remember it from hunting season last year, but... Took Zyra up there so she could get some good photos of some of those mountains. Excuse me constantly flipping my head. There's all these little biting flies and they're driving me up the wall. Um, so anyway, we spent most of the day up there, but it was so damn hot. We just kind of spent it hunting photographs and shade. Um, decided to go down and sit on the river to have lunch, but couldn't find anywhere to get down on the river because of all these damn yuppies from the city. So anyway, here's where we are sitting probably for a little while this afternoon, this evening, before we drop back down to camp and make dinner. Talk to you then. You know, morning is cruel and unusual punishment. It truly is. Weirdest thing, I hate to go to bed. Like, it... it I don't know, never appeals to me, the idea of going to bed, the idea of going to sleep, it always just sounds like a waste of time. It's not that I'm that motivated or anything like that, or always have something going on, it just seems like a waste of time. I'd rather be sitting on my ass doing nothing than laying in a bed. And sleeping's always an uncomfortable thing, everybody's like, oh, but it feels so good. Uh-huh, except for the stiff neck, stiff shoulders, stiff back, stiff this, stiff that. It's not a comfortable thing. 
Laying in any position for more than a couple of hours is uncomfortable. Sitting in any position for more than an hour is uncomfortable. It's just kind of the way that our bodies are designed. They're supposed to be in motion, doing stuff. That said, once you go to sleep, waking up sucks. It just does. I hate it. Anyway, welcome to Monday morning. We are pretty much going to have a camp day today because I do have to work a little bit. I'm just going to work from here because, well, you know, telephone and internet, that's all I need. And I picked this campsite specifically for those things. Anyway, just wanted to say good morning and I will talk to you later. Bye. Little all, but it'd be really awesome if it held a little bit more stuff, right? Or maybe we carried a bit less stuff. Yeah.